hi, hi. <laughs> Let's get started again with our adventures in Fate of Iberia. Let's look at the situation a little bit. Um, oh, always these tool tips. Yeah, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. So let's see what they're all doing. Relatively okay with that. We have still an army going on. And we should theoretically disband them, but... <laughs> we'll do that. Okay, so uh, we can get them back from here. If we see the mercenaries, then we can raise them if we want that. So that's something that we, we're going to do. If we find someone to take a war to, I mean, we could declare a war on these guys. Really? I, I thought we had a truce. It seems like they like they changed somehow. Can go for a struggle clash. We can go for a border raid. We can not invade a kingdom. We cannot conquer a duchy. But I think we can conquer a county. Let's, let's see which one we want. Strike them off this Placentia, Marida. He's in Quellas, Medellin. Of course, we want um, we want something that's close to us, right? Thanks to our investment in mercenaries, we have way higher troops than this guy, so that would be a good choice. Like, let's have a look which is uh, the best of them all. I mean, that has the capital in it, so that might be the best. It has some wooden barracks. And I believe it's also a county capital. Let's see about the others. That are very close. We don't want Maria because it has no border towards us. We've got this one. Hmm... Now, as you can see, we also have three holdings in this. We have only two holdings in this and nothing at it. We have three holdings in this, so that would also be a good choice. Placentia, especially because it is close to mountains, so you can definitely defend it easier. This one is a little bit better and a lot better from the tax, but only, as you can see, realm capital is plus one. It won't be our realm capital, so... Uh, total tax of 0 0.5 and here um, we would have a tax of total tax of 1.5 but part of that is the capital tax so this actually should give us a little bit more than this but this has wooden barracks already so it's hard to tell this one we can also compare the cities. Like this city holding has guild halls, which is good for income. And we have prayer halls here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And Placentia in the, in the city has something and in the Shaikdom has something, but has nothing in this. So I think it would be a good idea to get this, but as you can see, we only have like a cross border here. So that really narrows it down to this one. But that also has a problem. As we can see here, we have a river. So <laughs> it's probably a better idea to go with the worst of them all. It also has good tax, but we can access it directly from our, from our country. So <laughs> that's how you come to it. So that's Hizen Quazraz. And I think we can declare a war again against him and conquer the county of Hizen Kozraz. And that will be it. Declare a war. He has all the troops already raised. We'll bring our people like to the f to the lines 
here, I think. We can raise these. We can raise the slaughterers. And we can raise the man at arms and even the levies. But I don't think we'll need the levies. For now, we'll raise all men at arms as well. And then we'll see if we need the levies. Our glory is widely known. Heresy, Ibadis in Yaf al Yamani, has announced to be to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Ibadism. What is Ibadism? Ah, it's another Muslim faith. Having become uh, disillusioned with the teachings of the Shari priest, so it, this gives us an, an option that we can convert to that as well. Um, but we don't want to do that. Let's stop that and let's see what we can do. They are going over here to Wisku. We should have mobilized everything so far. Let's see. That's our best commander. Does he like us a little bit more now? No, he, he still hates us. He's a full peasant leader. <laughs> Maybe we can't meet them here. We would probably win this, so we'll go for that. We are a trader, but these guys attacked us, so we're on the on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Band of lost birds. Wounded and disillusioned mercenary group has arrived at the Wilaya of Albas. The locals claim to have overheard talk of settling down after pillaging an easy target have begun to grow anxious. Tensions are higher. That's a new event, and conflict is likely to rise if... We do not intervene in the matter. Hmm. I'd offer them a position at the city garrison. Implore them to leave. Hmm. Force them out of the city. All that the locals are now. We'll offer them a position at the city garrison. I think it's... Uh, we cannot use like some mercenaries now. That, that wouldn't be... That wouldn't be a good idea. Now note that our leader also has a hills advantage and mountains advantage, so hopefully we'll be able to catch these guys now. They're waiting for us here. It seems like they've given up running away, which is good for us. Finally we catch them. Here we go, let's see. Now we have a slight disadvantage, but we have just the better people. They have a lot of levies, and we have a lot more knights. So. For the glory of Asharism. Now let's go over and actually take over the Vilaya of Kokereth. Our actual war goal, clearing. Some months ago, Naib Jafar began clearing land in the forests of Montemore to prepare for settlement. Trees are uprooted, paths are cut, and ground is swaled. Jaffa has now written Stuart Amart to request that his levy duties be reduced. Being anxious to complete the works before the next harvest, he hopes to instead recruit soldiers for labor. Our steward and friend. And this guy, our vassal. Jafar of Montemore. Hmm. Take all the commoners you need. Yeah, we don't really need levy. We get development for it. Entirety. Well, mm, the fields of battle will need a lot of bodies. Now, take all the commoners you need. It's good. We don't need him. Well, we can go for more stewardship even. Centralization. Development growth in realm capital. That's really cool. We'll want that. And now for the glory of... What is that? A peasant uprising they have now. <laughs> My goodness me. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot to take down here. Let's see if we can maybe... Mm. Like get another man at arms. No, no, no. We have no siege weapons yet. We'll have to make it work. We'll have to make it work. Look, they're recovering here very well kind of risky to stay here now for the siege, but we have to do it, otherwise we will not win. 
that battle. Let's see what we, else we can go. We can ransom some prisoners. Always a good idea. <laughs> uh, so they also have to fight uh, these guys there. Will be an advantage for us. Look, they are just waiting around here. But they now have a bigger army, but it's still not a lot of danger for us. Why? Because that's mainly comprised of levies. And we have no levies with us. If we had more levies, I, have, I mean, we have levies from the mercenaries, but otherwise, we mainly have elite troops. So let's just hope we can, can hold that before they will be recovered too much. They will come now, of course. And the question is, can we maybe send some help? Ah! <laughs> God, go away, go away. Can you go away? Ah, we didn't have to do that. Ah. Now we have to help out. It's crazy. It's crazy. Who is who is on that? Hmm, flexible leader. I don't know. I think we're gonna go for the holy warrior here. Might have to wait here. Wow. That's really bad. Now if we station some besiegers here. Mm, and take this army and help out here. Will we be able to do something then? Come on, you can do it! Quickly, quickly! Reinforcements! Oh god, no! <laughs> Mazud comes of age. My tuition of Mazud is at an end. <sighs> that's our player, Aaron's son. Okay, um, he's a thrifty clerk. Well, that's at least something. What can we do here? I think we might have to join in. It's there's no way we can. Oh look, we have a good, we have a military engineer. Hmm. Mazud, let's have a look at Mazud. So he needs to find a spouse. He's zealous, patient, and trusting, and we need to find him a good spouse. I mean, he's our heir after all. We want some good traits. So we get some good traits for our kids. Let's see. Fatima is a genius. Uh, we also want someone Ashari because religion plays a huge role. And someone around the same age. Wow. <laughs> That's really not many people here. Hmm. Craven, stubborn, and vengeful. He's zealous, patient, and trusting. I mean, that's at least not the opposite, right? Amunet is forgiving, calm, and sadistic. That's a curious combination. And Yagana is gregarious, impatient, and lustful. She's got good, good, good stats, at least. Becca, um, yeah, I mean, she has nothing, nothing bad, so we'll send that proposal. Eventually, they they will marry her. What's what's going on there? The mercenary contract is expiring, which can be troubling. But we still have them now, so we need to win this war. We need to win this battle. Here we go. Marital recriminations. My wife is complaining once again about somebody at court disrespecting her. It's Shamsuddin, the one to cause her ire. Huh. Our Mufti? Enough with these trivialities, buyer. We don't want that anymore. Now, come on. Can we, can we beat him here? He brought in everything and everyone. Combine the armies. Let's get back to Quasras. 
We won that battle. That's so important battle. And now we're going to run out of mercenaries. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. We need to find a replacement for them. Quickly. So we need to get another couple of mercenaries. Who could help us? We have the Slaughterers, three months left. The Andalusian Band, yeah, I mean, this, it's first the Slaughterers. We'll, we'll see if we can make do without more. The Company of Tunis would be nice with the Camel Riders. And the Light Footmen. And we'll keep that in mind. Disorderly Market, hmm. Salazan attempting to reinforce market regulations. Disorderly arrangements, oil beside mosque doors, unskinned rabbits and cheese in bowls. Allah, you all better listen to me now. The, this mutajib should be punishing market transgressions with violence if necessary. However, he's been ignored by the greed-blinded merchants. What can I do to aid him? Hmm. We could try to do it diplomatically. We could give them a stern reprimand. Take it up to myself to deliver the merchant's physical punishment. Shamsadin. Shamsadin's the one our wife complained about, so... Give them all a stern reprimand. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be real interesting. Gonna do that again. Uh, let's see if we have someone here. Would we'll give us some uh, siege weapon. Maybe the Andalusian band of Albund. I mean, Bowman held a little bit in siege. So we'll hire these and send them over. Abu Bakr has died. Hmm. In my dungeons. In my dungeons he has died. Ibrahim shall do that. He's a siege expert, as you can see, um, a military engineer. Contract with the slaughterers has run out. Yeah, we expected that. And now we need to see what we can do here. Of course, they're coming over now. And we might have to go there and encounter them again. Let's see. Uh, Faris. Here we go. We ride to hopefully not die. <laughs> Come on there. What a battle that is. Really, the battle for that county. They're in the hills, but we have an advantage in the hills, or it's even forests. So. That battle of Beja is we're doing we're doing really well. Hopefully we we catch someone really influential in this. No, <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> okay, back back to the roots, back to the roots. What can we do further? Hmm. Might follow them. They're running away. They also lost some people, strangely. We'll go over here. And we'll then split up. Siege guy and the others will wait here. So we don't have too much trouble with um, attrition. We'll see what we can do. My daughter! Dawal Saba presents me with a perfect little daughter. Wonderful. Um, Tafrara, why not? Hmm. We'll make the experiment and give her a martial education. Should be her guardian. 
Ibrahim, our, our commander, yeah. <laughs> this phenomenal guy here shall do it. Oh, look, they're coming in again. <laughs> Sieging here now. Oh, well. Hello there, Shandale. Nice to see you. We're using the violence advice that you gave us. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. So we just attacked someone. With our great peasant leader, and now let's go. Charge! Oh, look at that! They also lost some mercenaries. And we caught them! We caught them, and we have an advantage. They have an advantage. We have an advantage. We have a big advantage. Maybe we can catch someone. That would be so much easier. The search for knowledge. Ah, oh, Shamsadin. Approaches me with a pile of books. I've noticed your thirst for knowledge, my liege, especially your recent ventures into matters relating to stewardship. Perhaps these books might interest you. Um, yeah, sure. Only the best. Only the best. I have expected nothing less. Yeah, we did a little of, bit of a battle, and here we go again. All right, let's get back here. So they will they will probably <laughs> run around here again and then try to siege Ev Evora, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll try to get our way here. Hmm. We can send in that guy. So we don't have much attrition, at least. What a glorious battle. And they're going to Evora now. <laughs> will they siege Elvis now? Yeah, they will siege Elvis. Okay. Charge! It's all the same. It's all the same. It's That's even comedic, right? We can't demand payment. We can call on our ally. We don't need an ally. We need some time and we possibly need siege weaponry. Oh, that's so terrible. They're waiting for us here in the hills again. It's the same. It's the same always. R look at that. So our former peasant leader beating them left and right. Can we please catch this guy now, the Emir? Then we would win the battle. <laughs> we have caught no one. No one at all. Let's go back. We have we can mint new coinage. Aha. The choice I make will determine how the coinage and by extension my realm is seen throughout the world. I mean silver coins to facilitate trade development. Imprint it with my own visage. Debase the coinage with inexpensive nickel. <laughs> we could do that. Yeah. We need the money for war. Here we go. I save a fortune on the debased coins. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all for the good of our nation. That will hopefully include this very soon. Okay. Let's try to siege again. Ah, we have no one that is good at sieging anymore. Well, then the Reaver will do it. And corresponding with your Chancellor, and I must say I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps you're even someone that one day I would be proud to call my friend. The Countess of Salamanca. Silver tongue is shining, other ball. Nice. Okay, let's try that siege again. Now, uh, they will probably come back here. And we'll run down here again, and one day we will hopefully catch someone. Here they come. <laughs> God, that's so terrible. <laughs> and here we go. Here we go again. It's Groundhog Day. In paradise. You will do it again. Now this this time it could be decisive. Now catch that elusive bastard here. <laughs> catch him. Oh, we captured someone, but no one really important. 
No one really important. And let's go for some defensive measures then. Garrison size, things like that. Oh, the battle. Let's see how it progresses. How does the struggle progress? Yeah. The conciliation is in, in, in front. And who is growing strong? I see color around all the other children. Ah, nice. She's no longer sickly. That's that's big success for us. Now, <laughs> take that siege on. Do we have a good sieger? I mean, let's take the ravager for now. Mm. There's no one there, no one at all. Recruit this guy. Mm, it's a little bit of expen a little bit expensive. We don't want him. Let's instead go for another building here. And I mean, it's the capital. We should protect it. Defender advantage would be something. So hunting grounds would be nice. But walls and towers. Let's go for some walls and towers. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and it seems like they're not coming back that, back that quickly. Oh, we can ransom someone. He wasn't that important, so we'll just ransom him. Alcather Dol Sal will be improved. Our great capital. Ah, and finally, finally, let's make it a little bit quicker. What happened here? Ah, oh, yeah. Win a war, you started against another involved ruler. He, he triggered that, a struggle catalyst, and now he's trying to win that war against us. But he will not be successful, I guess, because we have finally managed to occupy our war target. And whoops, we've got a lot here. Let's see. Now we have a big advantage here, and that is that river. So he cannot just flee. He has to go always that same terrible way. Here we go. Maybe we'll catch him here. Seven knights now. Ah, we've got a valuable hostage. Ah, that's the, that's his son. Wow, that's pretty good. Now we'll go to the Vilaya of Merida. To the implacable Emiradanis, my troops could be very useful in your con. Now, nah, now that we're winning, you remember that? We always get offers to get more troops. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy. Ah, look at them. They're coming back. Ah. Ha, come back. Come back if you want. Come back if you want. Captain Abdallah of the Andalusian band of Teruel. Doing his best. No, we're ill! Emiro, peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we're all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke up coughing in the early morning hours. A dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Well, we're already ailing. Seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Ah, uh, do no more than what is necessary. Even worse, I want to rest. Yeah, we'll probably rest in peace, I guess. Let's try to make it for, for something good here now. Charge! The battle, the battle. They're coming back again. My old self, though. Oh, who? That was close. I did not. I did not wake up coughing once. Nice, 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 nice. I knew it. Oh, I didn't know it. <laughs> but we've survived. We'll be strong. We'll be strong. And now take that guy. Ah. Look at that. An enemy ally joins the war. Emir Sheikh Muhammad, our friend. 
Our friend is even joining the war now. What the actual... Are they coming now? Yeah, they have quite a number of elite troops here. And we have lost... Oh no, my Jamila has... Oh, she has died. At 43? I mean, she was mutilated for some kind of reason. <laughs> but hey, what are they doing now here? I don't know. Mm, no, we don't need the troops. We'll just buy mercenaries if we need to. But I think we can do it like without them. I know he has health, but we're so close. We're so, so close. We just need one little tick. Here we go. Damn, your seventh grandfather, you're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Yes, you better comply. We'll disband the troops and... We have the beautiful city, um, the beautiful Wilaya of Bu of Kakeris. Very, very nice. We have Mozarabism though, which is not really our faith, but hey... This is so diverse in terms of faith, it's it's just the way it is. We should look into disinheriting maybe other children. But we have so many children that everyone will get something. This is our player heir. He'll get quite a couple of things. Let's see about the realm mm, and the succession. Let's see. So we cannot change our partition. We could not change our succession law here, and we cannot change a designated heir. We will lose five titles in succession, which is terrible, but hey, <laughs> we're kind of role-playing this, so otherwise I wouldn't have had more wives or something like that. That would have been terrible. So let's just see that we uh, use our money to improve our realm a little bit. We cannot upgrade this. Harsh judgment. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my daughter Zamba what she thought. The sentence was far too harsh. Indeed. Indeed. She can be just. She can be just. And we're going to build a little bit more. Curse undone. Ah. Uh, the Emir Ab Abdial Rahman ibn Marwan of Bat Batal Yaus has died. Not one day too soon. That was the Emir we declared war on. And that declared war on us. Before. Let's see what we'll do here. Mm, I mean, at the start, something like levies or something is, is pretty good. But income is also really, really, really important, which is why we'll probably go for more income. And we have two choices here. We have the pastoral lands. The hunting grounds, as you can see here, uh, the hunting grounds are way better for the defender advantage. So we're going to go for that. Hunting grounds. And we'll have a look at, uh, at our culture. Yeah, but the current fascination, someone else is in control of that. We're still in the tribal age. Let's see if we can alleviate this somehow a little later. And one way to do this is usually decisions. So we're going to look at the decisions we can make. Mm. Yaya comes of age with sufficient tutelage. Yeah. So what did he make it to? Astute intellectual. That's pretty good. We can now, that we have some time, undertake the Hajj. So the pilgrimage to Mecca. We can develop the capital. We should definitely do that. It will stress us. But it's possible because we're diligent. So let's do that. And we need to get rid of the stress. So we need to do something for that as well. Let's go hunting. And after that, we can maybe go to the Hajj. We need to just lose a little bit of stress. It doesn't need to go overboard. Errant air. Or oh, what? My son Masood went on ahead of the group, chasing a stag. I follow close behind. 
and I find him standing above the commoner, tugging an arrow out of the poor woman's chest. As soon as he sees me, he hides the arrow behind his back. It was the stag, father, I swear! Soon enough, the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. Um, we can cover it up. How do we like him? We adore our son. Okay. He fought valiantly to save her. I saw it. Everyone believes me. Returning from the wild. The hunt went very well. We return home reinvigorated. Well, we made that work. We saved our son. Good, good, good. We can ransom someone. Here we go. And let's also have a look at the prison while we're doing that. Yeah, that was the only one in the prison. The question is, should we like employ someone else here? And I don't think we can afford that yet. I mean, maybe we can go for a Seneschal. Seneschal is always pretty useful. But really, yeah, we could afford it, but not with this old and grumpy king. I just wouldn't do it. Uh, we can also improve other things in our realm here, as you can see. We still have the option open to build something, and as we're metropolitan, we'll try to build the city again. Here we go. It's our family tradition. Catching thieves of myth. Oh, that's something new. I like it. You picked the wrong castle, fool, screams my marshal as he threatens the frightened intruder with a sword. Under further pressure from my marshal, the young man explains that he's part of a large criminal organization originating from the Sheikdom of Al Jazeera Al Hadra and commanded by the dreaded Haramel, the th King of Thieves. So you're trying to set up a new thieves guild right under my nose, eh? I ask to which the thief merely nods. He's willing to exchange further information for his life. Hmm. Haramel will join our court. That's a thief. <laughs> He's melancholic. <laughs> After selling out his friends. Your thieves guild sounds taxable. Oh my god. Work for me to dis disrupt the Shaktim of... Oh. Hmm. I'll gift your severed head to shake his, his arm. Oh god. Um, yeah. Tell me where your accomplices hide and you may yet live. We, we really like control level. We always have something. As you can see, instantly get more income with, with rising the control level. Let's go for organized mustard roll. Mustard roll. Yeah, I love mustard rolls. They taste great, so... Our conscripts get mustard rolls. Some great Iberian mustard. Hire the thieves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be something, right? Mm, we could go for a spouse. Another spouse. But, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we just need someone who is like kind of cool. Mm, we don't need more kids, right? So let's go for some of all skills. And um, Sophia, she's fickle, she's compassionate, she's cynical. That doesn't fit well. We're a zealot. Cynical, vengeful, paranoid, sadistic. Ah, for some reason that's too much of a thing for me. Deceitful, uh, deceitful and trusting. What a combination that is. Yeah, I'm deceitful and trusting. She's stubborn as well. A blind giant. That would be interesting. Yeah, let's let's marry her. <laughs> She's definitely some someone to look at. May we find strength and support in our union? Yeah, indeed, indeed. So she won't get kids, but we don't need more kids. <laughs> more kids wouldn't be wouldn't be a good choice. Let's 
toil and hard work. Samba has been impressed with one of the household knights. Work hard and you can master anything. Sure. Diligence is cool. Our dynasty is, is known a little more. Our lines about legacy from Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abd al Rahman of Kurtuba. Our friend, Sheikh Muhammad. Hey, how about we, we go for an alliance? No? Where is this guy even? We need to pin him so we don't get lost there. He gives us a, a poem. What a man does not hope to rest when tired. In glorious memory with heart's desire, it's rare enough for men to admit that all they leave behind is shit. <laughs> when memory takes shape. Okay. We have to say it's truly heartfelt. It's our friend, I mean. Hmm... What can we do with him? Can we maybe... We should maybe sway him even more and then maybe... We can get an alliance with him. That would be nice. So we found Muhammad back. Or Muhammad has found some kind of little realm back. Which is great. Let's see. What do we have here? We could declare war on this man. He has three allies. Mm, that's not cool. This man is also in our line of thinking and he has no allies and as we have so many so many sons we we are kind of under a under pressure to gain more lands, right? We would really like to get the Boo of Silves. Emir, we kind of like him. He kind of likes us, but he has the same faith. Let's convert it some. So <laughs> we could conquer him. We could also like charm him because we already have all the holdings that we would need. We could try some of the new things out, right? Um, we could invite him to an activity. We cannot call for a hunt, but we can invite him to a feast. With the, with him as a special guest. I like I like that new option, but it's 40% acceptance. Nah, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, if, you, if, you, if you're unsure, then we'll just take you there. How about that? Conquer that county. Meet here at the mosque of Setubal. Raise everyone its time. Charge! Let's see it now. Struggle Catalyst. Mm -hmm. Aha, aha, aha. So they're going around here. And we want to leave behind the sieges. That should be enough, right? Uh, we don't need to siege personally. Or maybe we need to. <laughs> We'll send the army of Setubal after that. Here we go. We can't crazily continue our siege here. They're losing people left and right. Interesting, interesting. And we caught them off guard. Wow, just wow. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Capture the Faris. They have some help. Where are these guys going even? I'm gonna chase them around. Go over to the capital. Charge! Whoa! 
they're coming back here. Let's let's go this way. I think they they want to take them on here. Ah, they want to take the stuff back. Now we got them. Cradled by death. Our son is in heaven. He was stillborn. What a tragedy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> They're marching through here and up there. Like, <laughs> They're losing 100 people every day. They Every time they are, you know... A freaking realm. What the hell? That's not something good for them. Yeah, we don't need we don't need more people here. We'll just wait it out. I sieged former bells of Santiago. What the look at that thing! We we found that illustrious trinket here. Disease resistance, medium boost. Wow. What a thing that is. I think that's our first artifact even. <laughs> Piety per powerful vassal on the council. 0 0.1, that's useful. Christian opinion goes down, Muslim opinion goes up. Oh, that's a beautiful thing to have. Wow, just wow. What a thing we found here. Crazy. Let's enforce the demands. Yes, yes, yes. We go and we'll rule a little bit over it. It's it's okay. It's okay. What do we have going here? Um, we can't upgrade because we don't have crop rotation. So we can only uh, look to improve the rest in our in our capital province. We're building that city, and we can improve the city that we have. Let's see what we can go for there. We would like some money. Money is the way. So let's go for some guilds for development growth. Also look at these guys. Are they already building a pasture? That's nice. I'm going to fully develop here. Return of the King of Thieves. Hello, Adanis. That's Heramel. This is us. <clears throat> I bet you weren't expecting to see me ever again, especially after you destroyed my organization years ago. But breaking something is as easy as putting it back together, and I uh, don't want to play cat and mouse any further. Grant me safe passage to Napoli, and you will never have to see me again. The guild will be rebuilt far away from you and your riches, says Heramel, the King of Thieves, and nervously holding a pouch of coin in one hand and a concealed weapon in the other. Hmm, Count Gregorius would lose opinion? Oh, <laughs> send him to the Christian lands? We could make him join our ranks, but he hates us. That's a bad idea. How about becoming a spy? Hmm. No, no, no. Uh, very well, I'll help you leave for Italy. <laughs> so Napoli now has... <laughs> The King of Thieves. <laughs> Let's see what's here. Betrothed can marry. Nice. So we can marry her. Does she have anything really bad with her? No, no. Well, she's still comely. Which is good. So let's accept that. Let's accept that marriage. Sweet. Sweet. He's 22 now. Very, very nice. We're above the domain limit. We're aware of that. Definitely aware of that. What else would we do? We can ransom someone else. Oh, a little kid is here. Hmm. Designated guardian for Carla. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, we'll do it ourselves, I think. What have you decided to be, my kid? She's pensive. Hmm, stewardship or learning? We can change that. Stewardship or learning? She could become... Oh, can only be changed once. Ah, okay. No, well, then we'll, we'll keep doing that. It's gonna be fine. It's not really that important anyways. We have disabled a building here, that thing. 
Aha. To avoid the penalties of over the domain limit. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can invite him to an activity or if we can maybe go for a for an alliance. No. Can I invite him to an activity. Oh nice. Look, let's let's go for a feast together. That's cool. It's also relaxed. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. And where well, someone demands the artifacts? No. The former owner. <laughs> that's our feast. Look, we can look at the feast. That's that's really cool. Who is there? It's us, it's Shaikh Muhammad, it's the Amira, our wife. Half sister or daughter. Ah, oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. What a nice patch that is. And he declined. Our chancellor. Why did he decline? I mean, if he dies, we will inherit. So at least that. That's good. Breaking horses. Ember at Samba decided it was time for some horse riding. Stables were looked up tight. But with guidance from High Zurans, Samba soon led a group of eager riders inside. Oh, what? No! Absolutely no control over my animals. There was swearing, laughter and broken bones as men and women fell from horses ambling around the hall. Other creatures in the stables did not get away much easier, and one goat nearly caved in under the weight of Naib Sifax. Aha. Not like these looking very heavy, but... Stable hands save those people from themselves. Have we have got a lively feast. That's good for us, right? That's good for the <laughs> cavalry abilities. <laughs> the feast ends all in good moods. Emir Zamba and her drunken band of merrymakers will be remembered. Keep me in your hearts, vassals. Well, that was a good thing. Um, how about we now go on a hajj? On a pilgrimage in that case. One of our faith holy sites. Minimum cost is what? We cannot even afford that. But we have to do it once in our life at least. It's every Muslim should should do that. As I've as I know so far. I, I'm not an expert in that, but popular figurehead we are now. And we'll now go for more popularity. Note that this is a roleplay decision. I wouldn't never like expend all that money. Uh if I only play to win. We could undertake the Hajj. Yeah, yeah, fulfill our duty to, to Allah. Look at that. It will cost us 298. Yeah, we'll do that. We gain a lot of faith and we gain a display of submission. Nice. Prepare for the journey. The time has come for me to undertake the pilgrimage to Mecca. It has been commanded of me, as it has for all Muslims, to show my submission to Allah. I've waited for this my entire life. Here we go. Departure. I will be gone for a long time, and I can only pray God watches over my realm as well. Indeed. Now let's see. Where are we going to? I think Mecca is somewhere here. I'm really bad at geography, but I think it's somewhere around here, right? Mm hmm. A rude story. Aha. Passing by the campfire, one of my fellow travelers is telling a story he once heard about some emir to raucous laughter. They all fall silent when I approach, except for the storyteller. Ah, oh, don't worry, my lord, you're nothing like the churl in this story. It's about the emir of some faraway place called Baya. Ha ha ha. Really now? Tell me more of this emir. Let's, let's be chill. We're here for our faith. God's drafted for levy? Oh god. Unsafe highways. Ah, what they do, what they do. Love thy neighbor. Among my fellow pilgrims, there's a man who preaches compassion and fellowship. Until he reaches the topic of heathens. One evening around the campfire, he loudly declares them to be abominable monsters in the eyes of Allah. Deviants and child murderers all. Some Most people avert their eyes when he looks at them. Tonight I was not quick enough. Do you not agree, O Emir? We're a zealot, we agree, truly, they spit in the face of Allah. Hmm. 
here we go, here we go. We have arrived in Mecca, ready to complete the Hajj. I walked seven times around the Kaaba, touching the black stone on each circuit. I prayed at the place of Abraham, drank water from the Samsam well, walked between Safa and Marwa seven times and sacrificed to Allah. The next rite I must complete is to cut my hair. Traditionally men shave it all off, but dispensation is occasionally granted to cut off only part. And women are restricted to just a lock. We'll shave it all off. The end of this year's hard draws near. After two days of Rami al Jamarat, or the stoning of the devil, I'm ready to complete the final ritual of Tawaf al Wada and say farewell to Mecca. Very, very nice. I may see your walls once again. Let's see what this gives us. We get the trade Hajj, Pilgrim, get more monthly piety and same faith opinion. Nice. We're returning. And it's changed something about me. Mainly how people treat me. But also, of course, we feel we feel some change inside. Now maybe we could away give away something to to our heir, but I'm not really sure what we can give him, so Grant him some titles. Can we give him Silb, for example? No, we cannot give him anything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the way with with heirs. My daughter, a perfect little daughter, Raisa Banu Dice. Is that still? Yeah, it's still our wrathful wife. <laughs> May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter, Raisa. Who shall guard her? Who shall educate her? This guy? Steward and friend, sure. Our friend is trustworthy. Before we do any funny things, we need to save some money. The, diff the gift of generosity... Give others their due and you will receive your own in turn. Mm, she could become generous. Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, it's virtuous to us Ashari, so we'll do that. We'll be definitely a zealous man. And so if she's virtuous, we have to support her that way. It's, a, it's really a good kid. It's the greatest kid. She's so generous. How's our city going? Look at that. That's our new city, I think. It's the old city here, Montemor. We have the new city. We'll name it maybe after us. We'll name it Adanis. And that everyone knows that it will be named after us like Adanis the First. Here we go. Uh, the Boo of Arvis. Uh, yeah, we're ready to submit. That's okay. So we have Adanis. <laughs> But it's a barony title now, but it's a city holding. That is kind of wonky, but hey. <laughs> what, we have useless senses? My goodness. What can we do with our friend? Can we do something else? Um, no, not really. We could foment a, a revolt. Uh, well, there's, a, there's much to do, but... Even tempered. I was watching Carla play with other children when books took try to push her over. Oh no, she's ill. She took it in all in stride and sat down to talk to books took instead. She could be forgiving. Yeah, why not? She can be forgiving. It's okay. It's a good trait to have a relaxed life. 
which she hopefully has. So Adanis will get support from us, of course. What do we want in this city? Mm. We want farms and fields. We're metropolitans, so we will support the cities. Especially in our main county. Our main county should represent the realm. And the main thing we think about as a fortune builder is, of course, income. Income, income, income. How's our son doing? Oh, not so great. Tint Fedi comes of age. And she's, well, she's a flamboyant trickster. They grow up fast. Find her a spouse. Who can we find? His claims. Let's see, matrilineally. And this guy has claims. Mm. He's, what about this guy? Oh, he's a leper. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, we could marry her to our steward and friend. That is probably something that we would do, right? It's a matrilineal marriage. Yeah. Ahmed Salimid. That's what we do. Trade our daughter away. <laughs> Trade our daughter away to our friend. Oh well, oh well, oh well. More family members can get married. Our daughter. Hmm. run. Yeah, uh, she's quite old already. Now let's, let's have a look. We want to expand our... A dynasty, so we have to have a good look. Ashraf is not a not a good choice. Musa is sterile. Avinag is is ugly. Is uh, homely. <laughs> Abdallah is infirm. And court Imam Musa of Uglish. He's a leper. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. It's the ugly guy. It's the ugly guy. Our half-sister, no, we don't want to marry her off. Uh, and our other son can also marry. Yeah, yeah. Call us fool he is. Mm -hmm, indeed. Let's see. Oh, what is it about? Oh, infertile. Oh my goodness. Oh well. <laughs> we made a mistake, I guess. <laughs> we set that to defaults and to Asharism. Well, at least he'll get someone someone cool. Sahida Caliphid. Craven, greedy and humble. Lazy, shy, wrathful and an intellectual. Hmm. We would get an alliance. She's melancholic. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if someone has good traits. Yagana Sharara. I think we'll try it with her. Here we go. Ah, oh, we only have these terrible choices now, but hey. But hey, catalyst triggered. Construct a building in a cell. <gasps> and we have died. And we have died. We have died. We have lost all our lands, or nearly all our lands. We're only left with two counties. But we're still the Emir. And we have plenty of time to make up for everything. We've reigned for 19 years, we've become 63, which is really not old. Um, as a conscientious man, he was renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Emir Masood ascends to the throne, spending long hours in prayer as not to upset Allah, 
Many are confident that Masood's reign will be a blessing to the realm. Yeah, let's let's start the blessing. So we're a thrifty clerk, so we get a bonus on that. We should re really start that too. We've started out with a tax man. That's not bad. Let's go for the wealth folks as well. We will need money to to go this this way because we're not powerful and we'll we'll just ne we'll just need money. We'll just need money. Sheikh Muhammad is now a foreign ruler only anymore. Oh well, let's unpin him then. And let's see about our council. There's our wife here. Mm, at, least, at least she kind of likes us. But it's cynical versus zealous, so it's not that great. Uh, we should try to sway her, maybe. Maybe we feel, but that, that's not that's not going to work out. You can see, that's not going to work out. So it may be, it may come from secondary spouses. So let's have a look. We could get uh, betrothed to her. That would be really good. We'll send that. Mm. Amunet might like us. She's sadistic, calm, and forgiving, trusting, patient, and zealous. Yeah, that's not at least not an opposite. So we'll get her to the court. I mean, she's kind of sick, but what, whatever. <laughs> then we have her. She would hate us, and Yagana would. Yeah, it's impatient versus patient, and here. Have the wrong acceptance. Yeah, maybe we'll expand that. Let's see. Someone, someone we really get along with would be good, so we can romance them. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think we should. Look for someone zealous, maybe. So let's see. Miasa is zealous. Um, she's callous and ambitious. So she would be a great help. Azia is forgiving, trusting, and zealous. And has tons of diplomacy. That would be really cool. And yeah, but she's she's also the same age. And is she's not contrasting us. I think she would be a good choice. We also get a terrible alliance with her. Okay, all right. Now let's look at the chancellors that we have here. Mm, oh, that's our heir. Interesting. I mean, we want someone good at this. So Naive Jafar of Montemor will do that. We need a good marshal. That could be done by our Faris, a knight. Ibrahim, the freaking peasant leader. <laughs> He's just good at his job. What can we say? And we have to have people that are good at their job. The spy master is Samba. Unmarried. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, I think we have inherited something here. Yeah, we have the formal bells of Santiago. Nice, nice, nice. So we have a good disease resistance from that. That's pretty cool. And the rest, well, the rest will come to us, I guess. Uh, we can negotiate alliances. We should definitely do that. It would be so helpful. So, we see you. Yashbuna Kulum Ria. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, we have too few spouses so far. But that will go away. That will go away. We have negative prestige even. Whoa, let's see what we can do. So, 
people are marrying. Uh, she is ill. I hope she can get come back. She can come back from that. Excellent. We'll be glad to call you an ally. Nice. Allies, allies, allies. And now we are like in contact with her and she's the one she's the one we would romance, right? On the other hand, we will get so many kids, it's not necessary. We should try to somehow sway our wife. We can sway her, but we cannot romance her. Maybe that's not necessary. Can we seduce her? We could seduce her. Mm. We could not romance her because she's too different from us. So what we'll do is we'll just sway our wife. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We became the new dynasty head, which is great. My wife is bearing my child. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot wait to hold the baby in my arms. Nice. So we'll hopefully get a good kid. Let's see. Let us see. We have some really good income. So let's see, what, what do we have? So we have the Taifa of Baya, that thing, Abidanis, and the one next to that, Evora. So our way would also to expand here. We are also um, a steward, so investing is something we would do naturally, right? So let's go for some farms and fields. Conciliation phase. We are. Yeah, we're heading towards a conciliation. But we'll see. Let's see what we can do. Our realm is relatively stable. If we get a son, then uh, we'll be safe. I think daughters cannot even inherit, so we'll see what, what happens. We have a daughter. Tough suit. We will take care of her ourselves. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. And she's also comely, which is which is really good. Let's see what we're gonna have here. Sambabanudanis can marry our half sister. Hmm. Whom to marry her to? Let's see if there's matrilineal possible. And then we'll take this guy. Mm, no, we won't give you the former bells of Santiago. Oh, that's our heir, our half brother and brother. God, he's gonna declare war on us. He also has two holdings. Nah, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be truly interesting. Let's see. My Allah bless our union. Yes, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hello there! <laughs> nice to see you coming. Just falls a while. <laughs> or however to pronounce that name exactly. When I saw your name, I always thought of like these uh, Welsh city signs or village signs. Band of Lost Birds? Is that also some kind of... Yeah, that's a wounded mercenary group. Let's see what we can do about them. We can really not do anything about them. So we'll offer them a position at the city garrison. We want to solve everything with money. To the winsome Emir Masood. Now that's our spy master. <laughs> your lovely wit is like a furry cat. I wish only to see you, that I may know if you're warm or more like a corpse. You and I belong together. What a... What a... 
<laughs> what a poem. <laughs> These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I hope that. I mean, we kind of like her. So you flatter me, lady. You flatter me. Councillor Ahmad died of natural causes. What? Natural causes at 55. We need someone else here. A good steward. Oh, well, that's a good method. Friend of mine always grabs something that's standing next to him. So he has named characters after cookies or after um, like some kind of uh, brand names, things like that. So that's an alternative to that. <laughs> oh, we have no good steward. Well, our brother-in-law can do it. Yeah, let's, let's put him in that position. Maybe that will make him happier. Who knows? When did emo poetry get added to Crusader Kings? Like always, it's... It's... <laughs> uh, is that emo poetry? That's probably just bad. Natural causes, long life back then, Junkie God? Ah, yeah, it, it depends. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the life expectancy back then uh, was influenced by child mortality. So people actually that survived childhood would live kind of long, like even kind of as long as today, but only when they survived childhood, because childhood was such a killer back then. It's crazy. And of course, when like average life expectancy, when the plague year in the plague years, what was like, that was an outlier. It was just terrible. <laughs> Hmm, Mr. God. So, yeah, 55 was... Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I guess it was rather normal for nobles who could afford to eat much and would then die of the accompanying illnesses rather quickly. Hi, Zaran. Hi, Zaran. Yeah, let's, let's call her Hi, Zaran. So we have child of our dynasty now. Look at her. Nice, nice, nice. What's going on here? That that's a neutral army, the army of Quimbra, in our realm. Oh well, oh well. Some one of our vassals will get uh, dismantled, I guess. <laughs> Might not be good for them, <laughs> but it's good for us when our vassals are weak. At the moment, <laughs> at the moment, as long as we are so weak. Into Devi can marry. Or half sister. Let us see. We need more people of our dynasty. And good people to boot. Let's see. Maybe this guy. Mm. He will be an okay knight. If he comes over, that's that's gonna be good. Nice. They're coming over and now freeing these lands. We'll see about that, right? Oh, income is going down. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Will I have Yabura getting improved? Nice. Challenge for artifact. Ah, uh, now he's coming. King Alfonso of Asturias. Let's see. Mm. Mm. If terrible allies, uh, will it go to war over that? I don't want to give that away. Face me in a duel. Are you mad? You have five prowess. How strong are we though? We have nine prowess. Sure, we'll do that. Sure. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
They we stalk around each other, each weighing our options. He hefts a fearsome sword while I grip my own sword tightly. The deadly weapon feels cool and weighty in my grasp. This fight may only be till first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. For God and Allah! <laughs> With no risk of injury. Friendship is splendor. Scum. What? Enthusiastic. Yeah, that's not really that good. But here. For God and Allah, suffer blasphemer. Divine wrath, with a shouted prayer, you humble yourself before Allah. Allah is wise and his wrath is on my side. I shout my devotion to the heavens that Alfonso might tremble in fear before my faith. Alfonso's sword moves in a lazy defensive position and he begins shouting me down his tone. What one would use for a misbehaving serf, not an emir. My form is good with only small errors and Alfonso's stance is failing. I have my opponent on the back foot but still need to consolidate my victory. Let's see. Mm. We could kick him in the shin. Ah, uh, to the floor with you. Spotting a moment of opportunity, I deliver a fierce kick right at Alfonso's shin, nearly hobbling him. Alfonso stays stock still, seemingly hoping I'll just throw down my sword. My form is good. Aha. And I have him on the... His stance is a disaster. Maybe if I wait, he'll trip on his sword. What? That, that sounds like a little bit... Yeah, that's very patient. Unsure attack. For God and Allah, suffer blasphemer. Yeah, we'll go for another divine wrath. Victory. Clearly. Allah... For God and Allah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly Allah smiles on me. Brashly, Alfonso hurtles at me. Sword hung slack, clearly trying to give me a vigorous sculling. With nary a second thought, I ram my knee into his belly and the idiot crumples. His credit, Alfonso lands as well as could be expected. And he's already scrabbling to his feet by the time I've swung round after him. A few vicious kicks and my sword pressing into his spine convince him to hold still and yield though. I am victorious! Ha-ha! And he is wounded. Is he wounded still? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. We are victorious against him and we keep our illustrious trinket. Settle it with violence. Yes, Shandale. Yeah, I, I saw the message. It was just not displayed by YouTube. Because it's hate speech or something like that. <laughs> hate speech in a video game, right? <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. So I think we have we have constructed the fields now. It would be cool if we could construct more. Now let's just see what we can do. Proof of devotion. Lord Masood, my gallant lion. Spy Master Samba is kneeling in the dust before me. Yeah, you don't send away your spy master. Pro tip. <laughs> my only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Um, hmm. We could get a wolf pelt, a jeweled necklace, or a rare orchid. What kind of guy are we? What would we want? We're patient, trusting, and zealous. A necklace, an orchid, or a pelt. We're too trusting to, to slay a wolf, maybe. Yeah, let's bring me a flower. Nice, Shandale. She refuses to give you an orchid. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, you had your chance. You just had to pluck a flower. But no, you didn't. But no, you didn't. Let's see. Golden obligation kind of amount of meritocracy centralization will be good defensive measures i i kind of like that fort level plus one that gives me some security right we only have two counties so we have to to take what we can we have to risk some things in expanding that so uh the hunting grounds are good we also want like this bastions and curtain walls Emira gained the trade pregnant as well. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if we can build some walls and towers here. Make this Evora safe. Oh, 
What other options would we have? Mm, we could go on a pilgrimage, but it's too expensive. It's just way too expensive for this kind of... Proof of devotion. My graceful stag, my spellmaster Zamba, is kneel kneeling in the dust before me, right hand above her heart. My only desire is to bring your honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Um, <laughs> ask her for the orchid again. Uh, then, okay, slay me a wolf, whatever. After bringing something, come on. She fails to slay a wolf. Well, it's not looking good for you, Zamba. Ha, 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 my last chance. Isa has decided that her time in Alcatraz de Sol has come to an end. Uh, we could hire her or not. Give me one year. Nah, we'll, may your journey be swift and safe. We don't need her. She can go. She can go. Let's see what we get from Evora very soon mm. move all of this. Um, uh, we need to we need to convert faith right uh, faith is a shari as a shari is move all of this. Um. here we go let's go to Evora and change that faith here and maybe we should look at our culture oh we have a daughter tisri may you grow to be strong and wise my daughter and now um we need to look here so culture is under illusion mm, our culture is baranis let's let's just have a serious look at the culture here right It's all Andalusian. We could change our culture to become an Andalusian emir. That would be probably advantageous for us. Could we do that? Convert to local culture? We would need prestige for that. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. If we get enough prestige, we'll convert the culture. What we'll not do is we'll not send out and uh, convert everyone to our culture, the Barani's culture. Barani's culture is not bad, but there's much more Andalusian culture, and why not use that, right? Why not become like a a crossover, a county in need? These are tumultuous times for the Vilaya of Yabura. Report after report arrives detailing the dire state of affairs in the area, and the peasants started muttering about alternative solutions. Um, handle the issues personally. Yeah, we need a meticulous management. Management is always good, uh, if done well. Ha <laughs> <laughs> mm, ha. And we've gained something. Yeah, Andalusia. That's, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll go forward to see what demanding an artifact who are you my half brother the resentful gentleman oh, he's a fearsome warrior my goodness he has even more counties than we have but no we will decline that we will keep the artifact the request let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit uh Food or sleep, we could gain well rested. Your love for me should be sustenance enough. Let's see. Let's see. She seems to be handling the feasting, fasting rather well. As I search her out to express my surprise and admiration, I find out how her entire cloak is stuffed with food. Judging by her shamed expression, I it was not meant to see that. But as I look for her to proclaim the challenge won, I find her in the larder, covered in crumbs in the process of devouring a whole cheese wheel. She meant to trick me. And we lose. Ah. Oh, well, she's our spy master. Ah, terrible. We hope to gain prestige to become Andalusian, but no. We gain only... <sighs> Problems, problems, problems. Let's see if we can further do. 
A military presence? Oh well. Nice of you, Marshal. Nice of you. Emira Baka is pregnant again. No air so far. Struggle catalysts are getting triggered everywhere. Yeah, but the conciliation is strong. Conciliation is strong. Money, money, money. Yeah, we need to build more in Evora. Once this is ready, we'll build something more. Hopefully we can get enough prestige for becoming an illusion. Muvaladism. Yeah, that will change as well. <laughs> that will change as well. Is it love? Oh, God. I can scarcely remember what my life was like before Zamba declared her love for me. I am flattered but also overwhelmed by her attentions. I find myself longing for some peace and quiet, yet I cannot help but worry. Am I throwing away my only prospect of true love? That cannot be right, can it? Um, okay. Um, I am your Samba now and forever. That has the advantage that we will not get too many kids with other wives. And uh, that we have a very loyal spy master. So we just hope she will not botch it like the other things she's botched. I'm your Samba now and forever. <laughs> Crash. Where am I? What's going on? I peer into the darkness. My eyes adjusting a lot. There's someone by my bedroom window. I scramble out of bed, reaching for the dagger on the nightstand. The intruder grabs my arm, tucks, and I spin around, sinking the blade deep into her stomach. She looks at me for an endlessly long moment, her lips moving without a sound, then she falls to the ground. Mazud, are you alright? At the window stands none other than Samba, blade in hand, ready to defend me. I throw myself into her arms, and she holds me tight, oh my love, never let me out of your sight again. Here we go. We're in love with our spy master. What love could be more true? <laughs> oh, well, we get a son. We get a son. We get a son. And we get we get a lot of other things. My son and heir, Baka, presents me with a perfect little son. And, of course, um, we'll call him Mazud. Or we'll call him uh, Adanis, like our father. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Sure. And who will educate him? We'll do it personally. And challenge to a board game. This guy. Let's see. I mean, he's very good at martial. He's terrible at the other things. That's a great romance story. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about it is she won't get kids because she's 53. <sighs> but it's an immortal love. It's it's poetry in motion. Shaikh Muntazir. Yeah, let's play a game of chess, right? Won't we? I would rather play a game of real chess. So, let's see. It's waiting to begin. Uh, let's see. So, what we can we do? Marshall is countered by intrigue. Mm. He's bad at intrigue. We're okay at martial. Innocent whistling. So it's intrigue. Intrigue is countered by learning. He's terrible at learning. We're really terrible at intrigue. Learning is countered by martial. So we're... We cannot... Do that. So we need a strong sword arm with a strong die arm. So Marshall is counted by intrigue. So that's the that's the best chance we have. Our match marches on. He continues with very well executed adaptive strain. We're neck and neck. So my martial mind makes me unbeatable. Our match marches on. Muntazir continuing with an obvious trap. Blasted somehow. This man seems to counter every strategy we employ. We're neck and neck, though neither of us is even close to victory. You know muse my opponent i might not be much of a talker but i'm alarmingly good at chess yeah but we're going for our martial mind ah, he's continuing with several blandly standard moves naturally my techniques cunningly foil my opponent i'm in the lead for now and this game is rapidly coming to a head 
A particularly unsightly vein is bulging in my opponent's face. If you keep winning, I'm going to vomit literal blood all over this board, you cheating girl. Troll, what the heck? Well, the chess like war is all a matter of logistics. I <laughs> have won this. <laughs> With a roar of triumph, I surge to my feet, scattering pieces everywhere. This game of chess is mine. Another fine victory on my dis indisputable rise towards the role of king of, king of games. A desolate Muntasias remains seated, hands on his haunches, trying to comprehend where he went wrong. GG. GG. Good game. We made it. We made it. We're gonna go for in Evora. We'll go for hunting grounds for more defender advantage. Here we go. And a little bit of income helps out as well. Nice. Oh, nice. We gained a we gained a smuggling ring. Oh. We gained a smuggling ring. What now? Organize muster rolls. Centralize. Let's go for centralization. For now. Ay, 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 ay. Is he, is he so bad? Is he really so bad, our steward? I mean, yes. He has 10. He is so bad. But we have no one better still, so... It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Kalabanudanis can marry. Hmm. She's our half-sister. Let's see. Whom can she marry? Our brother-in-law. And Valley of Saga's Marshal. Yeah, why not? That that could be a, a nice treat. I think we would steal his marshal, is that true? <laughs> yeah, I think we would. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Um see about the city. Oh, we inherited the Taifa of Algarb and one other titles from Emir Muiz ibn Bakr of Algarb. Algarb. Oh, look at that. Where is that? Algarb. Where do we have Algarb now? We're being raided. And where the heck is Algarb? Is that here? I think that is here. Yeah, we gained that thing now. Well, that's pretty great, I guess. But we have an hostile army going around here. Hmm. So we need to raise everyone we have. Everyone we have is not enough. <laughs> everyone we have is not enough. Uh, they're going away. Where are they going? I don't know. Let's disband the army again, I guess. Uh, we need to look into something else to do with our fortune that we have amassed. And that is improving our military. Increase them. Like, we, we need some bowmen. And possibly some light horsemen. We only have the best romance stories here. And we hopefully soon have... Amira Baka is not swayed. Oh well. Catching the Thieves of Myth. Now, who are the Thieves of Myth now? You picked the wrong castle, fool! Screams my marshal as he threatens the frightened intruder with a sword. Under further pressure from my marshal, the young man explains that he's part of a large criminal organization. You did! Wow! What Galactic Emperor 2285? You're crazy, Shandale. You're crazy. Well, that's even... I think that's even four years less than the next one. Wow. Four years later. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So we have... Oh, the dreaded O'Donnell, King of Thieves. Let's see. Tell me where your accomplices hide and you may yet live. Mm. The Thieves Guide sounds taxable work for me i'll gift your severed head to shaikh muhammad i i'd like i like more control a little bit 
We're being we're being raided again. Oh gods. Raise everyone. And uh, can we can we defeat them? God, look at that. They've just about just about everything. We'll just move over here and hope they'll go away. Yeah, let's threaten them. Let's threaten them. But we we must not reach them. So let's wait a little bit until they go away. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, they're going up there. And we'll also move up there. Who knows? So they're out of sight and we might just disband it. Oh well, oh well. It's probably needed. <laughs> So we gained one more county, mm, Hunt's Lodges. It's been built, nice. So Evora, and the next thing we have is Faro. And the thing is we can now start to give our heir some stuff, I think. So we could theoretically grant him all the titles that we want. If we if we do that, right? For example, this might be a good idea or not, depending on yeah. But we we will still need money ourselves, so we cannot really risk it. And he's just a kid. Ibu can marry our half sister. Nice. Whom will you marry? Aha! We can steal another marshal. <laughs> um, matrilineally. I think we did that already for some reason. Yeah, we have low county control down there. No, oh, that doesn't matter. It's not bad. It won't stress us. Need to get more going in Evora and in Faro. We've built everything we could here. Let's just start some stuff at Faro. <laughs> You're not the man I thought you were. Okay. A terrible misunderstanding. What do we want here? Uh, we would really like to start with farms and fields. Let's do that though. Let's see what we could do to gain more prestige. I think we could hunt. But that costs a lot, right? Oh, no, it doesn't cost a lot. We'll hunt. We'll hunt the next moment. So we can maybe gain the prestige uh, to convert to Andalusian culture. That would really be a great advantage. Because I think like everything is Andalusian. So it makes sense to become Andalusian as well. The Andalusian badass that Junkie God has already told us about. The Galactic Emperor Shandale is watching us, so... To play well! Requesting a divorce? Our sister-in-law, clearly not blessed by Allah. A half-brother asks for a divorce. Uh, but hey, you would get the greatest kids, uh, except you didn't. Hmm. Okay, you can do that, man. You can divorce her if you want. It's not affecting us anything. So, we'll grant you that. Tafrara can marry. Another of our half sisters and we give her to the marshal who is 
just getting everything. And everyone. And the purchase a truce. He will pay money to us for a truce. Oh yeah, we'll do that. It's fine. It's nice. And um, we will call for a hunt then. Sound the horn. Tara, we're hunting here. It's so cool that we know where it is. Felling a beast. You think a creature from myth, perhaps a god, is guys in animal form. It was the largest stag I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It's still an imposing sight, lying dead before me. Vali Yaya is just as awestruck. I've never seen such a thing, my lord. Hmm. Trophy for my sister? Vali Yaya deserves something like that? Oh, it will look beautiful in my great hall. We'll get a hunting trophy. That will give us prestige, I think. Hmm. We helped him out already. Shall we help him again? We would even get a weak hook on him. No, it will be beautiful in my great hall. We want to we want to get this. We want to get this prestige. Hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the servants prepare the stag another game for the journey back. The hunt went very well. We return home reinvigorated. And we should now be able to convert to local culture. Here we go. Andalusian culture. Here we go. I acknowledge who I am. Here we go. So we're more um, in tune with the people here. Now we can have a look at Andalusia and the Emir here, the cultural head of that. And what do we have? What do we have here? We have hit and run tacticians, which is pretty good. We have expert artisans. I like that somehow. Ritualized friendship. We can become friends, best friends. Malleable subjects. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we deal easier with vassals and tabletop warriors. May always change other characters to board games. That's kind of cool, right? So, kudos to Andalusian. I like board games <laughs> as well. So, we might we might even challenge our kids to board games. Can we challenge you to a board game, little one? Ah, uh, maybe you're a little bit too little to know about chess with two. Yeah, that might be a little bit too little. Uh, let's see. We have a relationship. We have a lover. We have Samba. We could challenge her to a board game. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's play the game of love. A friendly game. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll go for a friendly game. That's going to be nice. We'll play with Samba. Samba takes a seat opposite me. Your kids to children's card games. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A competitive grimace tells me exactly how confident my lover is. She goes first, opening with an obvious trap. We're neck and neck, though either of us is neither of us is even close to victory. I wish matters of coin were as easy as playing chess, remarks my opponent. I'd be swimming in silver. Let's see. Um that is counted by intrigue, so we're not gonna do that. You'll never see the moves coming. That is counted by learning. Intrigue is counted by learning. So we could do that. Unparalleled in the theory of chess. Uh, learning is counted by Marshall. She's bad at Marshall. And we're good at learning. So that should be the best choice. She's continuing with a robust attempt at coherent strategy. Naturally, my techniques cunningly foil my opponent. We're neck and neck, though neither of us is even close to victory. I had higher hopes for this match. I know the rules of chess like the back of my hand. Our match marches on. Samba continuing with a variety of cunning feints and, and ploys. Blasted. Somehow, this woman seems to counter every strategy I employ. 
I'm in the lead for now, though neither of us is even close to victory. We don't have to be playing chess, Masood, whispers my lover. I'm sure there are other ways to entertain ourselves. I know the rules of chess like the back of my hand. And we win the game! <laughs> With a roar of triumph, I surge to my feet, scattering pieces everywhere. This game of chess is mine, another fine victory. And my indisputable rise towards the role of king of games. A desolate Samba remains seated, hands on her haunches, trying to comprehend where she went wrong. We could uh, love to play again sometime. Mm. How does it feel to lose, little one? <laughs> no, no. Good game. Good game. We're going to just go GG. The new head of Andalusian culture. Nice, nice, nice. We have Sakaliba settlers now. Band of several hundred pale-skinned Sakaliba, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe. These guys, Russian Muvaladis, have escaped the realm of my acquaintance Emir Abd il Rahman ibn Abd al Rahman of Batalyavs. Talk as he may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem. They've braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. I will support him. They, he, he hates us. We hate him. It runs in the family. We all have scars. My, their leader, Yaroslava, tells me, on our bodies or deep inside. But we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own where we can speak our ancestral tongue. What? You want the Vilaya of Beja? The Vilaya of Beja. Where is that, though? Give me that. But he wants that thing here. There's a city here. A great city. So they want to settle in the city. Could even make you a, a mayor. We can stay, but your friends must go elsewhere. I will send you back to your man. I could even make you a mayor. Emir Abdul Rahman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get settlers. Nice. Yeah, let's let's go for that. I could even make you a mayor. We'll do that. It's great. Mm, golden obligations? No, no. We'll go for the le levy reinforcements. Nice. What? Why? How? There's never a quiet moment. My son and the heir Adonis is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted by the constant stream of thoughts and queries. When a father and a mother love each other very much... Oh, gods! Let's see. So he's curious. Uh, so he could be good in diplomacy or learning. And he can learn languages. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we're all good at learning too, so let's give him a learning education. And maybe we can give him some, some language to learn. Uh, we can start that at 6. Here we go. Everyone converted culture. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It will make the business roll in better. Miram Yasa. Okay, the trade pregnant. Oh, that's the seller that we uh, that we married to to understand her better, to understand each other better. Nice, 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 nice. What could we do? Rebecca is pregnant again. No, don't split it up again. Let's see what we can do. There's the Wilaya of Mura. What are the others? How about that thing here? Wilaya of Castello Branco. That shike here. We cannot declare war. That will break the truce. Ah, he has bought the truce. Okay. So what else do we have here? Mm, that guy really doesn't like us, but he has more and um, more, much stronger allies. So it's better not to confront him. What about this guy? 
Shaikh Muzaffar. He's got allies, but the allies are laughable. He himself has no army at all. He's of a Shari faith. Mm. Could we? We could offer him a vassalage, but he will not accept at all. His realm is distant. We could conquer his county, though. There's a river between us. But that's okay. Who's his ally? Ally is over there. La bla. Yeah. It's next to it. Oh no, it's here. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we should declare a war. Should we declare a war on him? Or like at Portugal? I mean, but that's kind of the, the buffer to Astorius, right? Don't want to weaken them too much, but that could be that could be something nice to catch. Even though it's not very good. What about Labla? What about this guy? That's also next to us. Can conquer the county. And that's a much much better realm. Now how about we do this? That sounds like a great idea. Raise everyone. Prematurely? Oh god. She's no longer pregnant. Was she so shocked that we would go to war? Charge! Here we go. The fight is here. Nice. We even got a 50%. Nice, nice. What a what a fight that was, really. That was really good. That was really, really good. We'll siege here. Hopefully, if we win the siege, we'll win that war as well. That would be really, really cool. We can create the kingdom of Badajoz. Wow. That would be really good. We'd need more, more money for that, but hey... That's going to be something, right? So we'll definitely try for that kingdom. You should always declare war. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. What's in a name? My love, could we name her Lunja after my serene mother? Says the Emira. Sure, a lovely idea. Lunja it is. Here we go. Who will um, who will help her out? Sister and best friend, why not? Here we go. And we now have a best friend as well. And that's a really an improvement. I really love that. I really love that. Best friend. That's a, that's a new mechanic. It's really... There's all these little things. And I really love them. Look, they're coming back with 91 knights or, or elite troops. Uh, that was maybe a little bit... Bad. We've gained Labla. Very nice. Gain the contested titles. Abdullah Nyeblid is ours. Yeah, I mean, getting the Galactic Emperor in the record is just insane. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great, what a great holding we have here. This wooden barracks, it has bastions and crop fields. It's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful. Really, really nice. So we've got Niebla as well. And uh, in turn, we should probably send our Marshal over there, right? To increase control somewhere. 
Mm. Increase control here in Labla. We should convert more faiths. We have Yabura. That's a Shari, that's a Shari, that's a Shari. That's a Shari, that's a Shari. How about here? More Shari. Aquatic Phototrophic Necrophage Franchising Megacorp. Well, what the heck? That sounds really exotic. <laughs> but it kind of makes a lot of sense. Aquatic is, is one of these things that I that I really, really prefer. Phototrophic can also be really strong. Necrophage. Oh, I have to learn more about necrophage. Um what could we what could we tell her about herself? Uh she would be yeah, we'll keep it short and professional. I don't know if she's forgiving. I don't think she is. A prisoner's died in my dungeon. Oh no! Oh no, let's see. Can we This guy is maimed and melancholic? Uh, you can go. Garcia. We could use this guy, but he's deceitful, so he's also dangerous. And he hates us. He's our rival. Yeah, we'll not release him. He's going away. It's okay, it's okay. Faro, yeah, building there. Building it up. Designated guardian for Tizri. Aha, Tafsud has been asking me for a toy boat for a long time. Uh, she simply waved my offer away, saying she did not really care about that. Okay, it's fine. Designate a guardian for Tizri. Hmm. How about our wife? What is she interested in? Diplomacy. Sure. The Amira. Good stuff. We can create we can create the kingdom of Badajoz. Yeah, we have to save up the money now a little bit to create haha <laughs> space burn. Yeah yeah. <laughs> I know what necrophage is, man. But I don't know how to use it like that powerful, I guess. I get it the uh, the strategy might be based on leaders and on converting everyone very quickly with the species conversion tasks and not with them with the buildings i mean they've changed the mechanics right for necrophage so i'm not really that sure how it works anymore i have to pay, i have to play it again hmm the monthly income is going up and we're waiting. Yeah. What what is our task now? It's it's basically creating that kingdom title because that would be so 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 helpful for us. If we would also hold the kingdom title. What could we do? Popular figurehead. Popular opinion. Fifty. That's really powerful. It's just beautiful. So that means basically that we will not get peasant revolts forever. That's the main thing. So we could undertake the Hajj. I mean, if we do it, we, we should do it now, right? I mean, it costs us something. We wanted to get the kingdom title, but it would be really, really useful to get that. <laughs> really, really useful. We might just have to do it, I don't know. My half-sister Zamba has been telling me. I'm impressed she is with the generosity of Emira Miyasa came th through for her when she needed it the most. Perhaps I've been underestimating her. 
Uh, but we are, we are planning that. We need the kingdom title. And then we'll go on a Hajj after that. Out of wedlock. Dua is carrying a child. She's not a married woman. Shaikh Yaya is the one responsible. The truth is out. Uh, maybe they, they, they took some stuff here and then... <laughs> <laughs> things happened you need to marry someone um, but no one wants to marry you oh well that's the fate that's the fate mm, get habitability inheritance from phage pops while conquering other species that sounds like a treadmill treadmill Child was not meant to be. My goodness, they're losing childs left and right. Let's see. But we will go for reptilian education now. <laughs> uh, but we have really, we have problems here. So we should go for noble veins. We, we will combine metropolitan with that. It's, it's probably much better for us because uh, all these kids, we will probably focus on that to, to give our kids more chances somehow. Go for the reptilian education later. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> On the other hand, in Andalusia, maybe a reptilian education isn't too bad. Accusations of witchcraft for, for Malika. She's a wise woman. It would be stressful to do something else. How is zealous? Yeah, we, we will burn her. <laughs> Satisfied peasants. Yeah, we're all about the public opinion, probably. She must burn for her crimes against Allah. Burn, baby, burn. A re reading in al Kathra do Sal. It looked like it would be a tedious evening once the feast's entertainment was over, but Emira Miasa saved the day, suggesting a, ready from, uh, a reading from City of God. I also love that one. Nice. Kingdom of Badajoz. Is your coming closer? Closer, closer, closer. Closer, step by step. Um, we don't have a horse yet, Bruce. Hi there, and two. Or, yeah, we, we don't have... Uh, we cannot end the struggle. A central proposal. Aha. My wife made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night I struggled to keep her off my mind. The feeling smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. Um, yeah, we're, we're probably open to this. We, we like her. I want to dwell forever in the inferno. My beloved wife. I then return to the chambers I share with Emiram Yasa. I am greeted by an unexpected but appreciated sight. Our bed has been decorated with seashells. She sells seashells. And Miyasa herself is reclining on it, smiling resolutely. With hands, mouth and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before Allah. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. But hey, for Allah we scream. For Allah. <laughs> I, I think we should go for conciliation, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. We are definitely involved. Here we go. In the Iberian struggle, as you can see, also formally. Faith is involved and culture is involved. Toil and hard work. Ah, okay, she gains the trait diligent. We're also, I think, diligent, and that's good. Or our father, at least, was. We can arrange the marriage, finally, with our betrothed here. And she's Amazonian. That's one of the reasons we, we looked to betroth her. Here we go. See what we can do. We have good income now, and we will get. Yeah, let's let's get forward. 
We want to get the kingdom title. It's a shame that it... Oh my goodness, no! Samba! All the longing and anguish le you left behind and we don't have a spy master anymore too. During the days I keep myself occupied, but here, where the memories are so vivid, there's no escape. Will the ache ever fade? Wow, that was terrible. I'm so stressed about that. And, uh... I don't know. I don't know. We could attempt suicide. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. We need a new spy master too. And who could do it? Our half brother and vassal? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Emira Miyasa, our wife and lover. Oh, that's not a good idea either. That's also not a bad idea. I guess we'll have to make it work with her. So we have no one better for now. And at least we can halfway trust her. In love with the spy master. The former bells of Santiago. Yeah, they will serve us well. We want to become a king and then we can have a royal court. That will give us all sorts of advantages. My daughter, Fatima Banudanis. Sweet. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. We shall educate the child. This guy, our Mufti. Great. Yeah, we can trust her at least. That's the important thing about with a spy master. Ah, my love. I think we should name her Baka after me. Sure. Name her Baka. It's a lovely idea. Shall I educate her? Yeah. Let's give her to the Mufti as well. Here we go. It's just daughters. That's that's the way. I'm sorry about... <laughs> that's the roleplay thing. It's just daughters here. Our half-brother looks really like our father in a bad mood. Hmm. Another Mufti has died. So our income is rising. We're really happy about the developments. And uh, we definitely want to become a king. Other things would not be good. Aha. We've converted faith. And now... Now let's go and convert that here as well. Child of my dynasty, a son. For my sister Zamba, and he is comely. Fuddle. No, we need knights. So let's give him a martial education. Everyone like besides us, uh, besides our direct line, will become martial education. Uh, We'll get a martial education. Let's see. Our martial can uh, also educate him. Right. Um, divided attention. Domain limit goes up. Nice, nice, nice. And that will help us out. So when we finally get... Uh, oh, no. Our aunt has died. Uh, what did she die of? Natural causes. Oh, my goodness me. We need a new court physician. Our Mufti is poor, our half-sister is poor, our wife is poor. Uh, at least we can trust her. Garcia, nah, we'll not let you let you go free. I think we inherited something. Let's see. Badajoz. Not yet, but next month. Next month. As as quickly as we can. Here we go. Here we go. We have a royal court. The royal court is there. The Xenxia court. As Malik, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm. 
a mighty Malik, and letting your coaches take part in your daily routines. Wally Jaffer of Montemore is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there's also some pride in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner, bearing the emblem of House Banodanis. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I've taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them see their new Malik enter the royal court or other matters. Uh, let them see their new Malik. Sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, let's see, we have the court artifacts. I have the house banner. And uh, we have the Avzaga dynasty banner as well. Nice, nice, nice. So that's our new court. Very cool. Malik at last. Our glory is widely known. And it would be good to get more counties. Uh, what is about the Duchy of Coimbra? We can create that. Where is the Duchy of Coimbra? Yeah, that would maybe give us more claims. Let's see. Yeah, that would, would be one of the next goals, right? That or a hajj. So it's late enough for me here. It's getting to midnight. And uh, so thank you for watching. I think this was a good, I'd like it a good ending. Where are we getting the royal court? We're the Malik now. We have a fancy crown. Look at us. Very, very nice. This is us. And our wife as well. Looking splendid. And we'll continue this in um, probably tomorrow. At around the same time. Depends on when I get to this. Thank you all for watching and happy gaming to you. Um, in the description below, you will find the Discord link to our Discord channel, where we all meet for friendly games and friendly banter, chat, whatever. And uh, you can also ask questions if you have questions there. And you also find a link to my affiliate partner, where you can purchase the, the, the little DLC here at 10% discount. It's original Steam keys. It's not like... Uh, retrading like uh, retrading so-called used keys so it's it's a direct it's a direct key connector based in France and Germany so uh, but it will also give you the chance to purchase it in in the US or like nearly everywhere in the world so I'm going to purchase there it's at 10% discount compared to Steam and the channel will get a 5% um, cut of that too at the cost of games planet and that's the way i partly finance the games i buy here like like this expansion or like stellaris overlord which i also bought there so thank you for the nice evening all of you it's a nice conversation i loved it hi there austin pins and uh we'll go we'll go with it in yeah tomorrow Probably the same time, around the same time, maybe a little later. Uh, depends on how much luck I have with bringing my kids to bed. <laughs> so, have a great time until then. And happy gaming. This is Manuel Kant signing out. See you soon. And happy gaming to you all.